This whole vlog is based on Johannes' birthday, so we took him to Puerto Rico for the first time. We took him on a panel for the first time. We took him to New York for drinks for the first time. <laughs> Welcome to my new weekly vlogs. Uh, yes, I just got home, had a long day, went to Jake's house. By the way, it is insane. Soon I'm gonna move out too and get my own place, but Jake, that is insane. I love you, brother. Damn, just damn. But anyways, I just came home to a package that Instagram sent me because when I went to Jakarta, apparently all my fans sent a bunch of gifts to the hotels I was staying at. I love you guys! And I got the sweetest messages ever. Like, I just had the longest day with like meetings and entertainment industry stuff, and now I get to come home to this. Welcome to Indonesia. Hope you have a great time here. Thank you for making us laugh, and thank you for being you. You're an inspiration here and some of my collection that I designed for you. Hope it fits and you love them. Love, Shira. And the Instagram is at it's D-H-I-T-A. So, this is the dress that she made for me. Bam. Bam. Hello. That is so sweet. It's perfect. I love it. Look at this. Fits great. So yeah, I got the dress, I got saris, I got, oh yeah, it's a little dress holder, cool. And I got all these letters, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now time to get ready for the guest event. Sadly, I'm not able to wear this, because it could have been great, but I'll just have to like, re-gift this to my sister, who's a little bit than me. It's a little bit skinnier. Love it though, love the idea. Thank you so much, guys, and time to get ready. Woo! And now I am ready for the guest event, and so are you, dressed yes. in Johannes wear. So, gonna go to the event, and I'm early, which is pretty cool and unique. Sorry I didn't record the guest party yesterday. It was awesome, Leanne did amazing. I'm so proud of her. But now I have to pack and get ready because I have to cancel all my events and fly to Puerto Rico. But before that, your girl is getting a massage. Okay, packed and ready to go, and look who's joining me. Hey. Johannes. It's gonna be an eventful week, and then we have his birthday that I had to put some time aside to celebrate, so let's do it. Long flight edited the whole time, and of course bags aren't here yet, but. It is dope. Is it? Is it? You think? Yep. I edited it for five hours while he slept, so <laughs> thanks for your help. <laughs> he watched it and confirmed it's great. Success! Success! Onward! <laughs> I look like Harry Potter. No, I look tired. Alright, going back on. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> When it's your first time in New York. Woo! Hello, New York! We're here! Hello, New York! Donut, donut, donut. Ooh, New York pizza! Pizza! <laughs> Get your vegan pie, kid. Oh, that's the size we ordered? Yep, I think that's the one. Oh my god. Hello, uh, Ready? Oh. <laughs> I'm happy now. Steaming. Good morning. We are headed to the airport to go to Puerto Rico. You ready for this? Yes. So, for you guys who are new to what's going on, I worked to raise money for. Puerto Rico. So there was a hashtag Power Angels Puerto Rico that we're still using and started a GoFundMe page and with other influencers. Erica helped out a lot with that. Um, she couldn't make it on this trip because she has a shoot in LA. But I have Johannes joining me yes. to help hand out and deliver the aid over in Puerto Rico and 
document what's going on over there for you guys and show where all the money is going that you guys helped raise. So, we got a private plane donated. We have doctors that are coming with us down to Puerto Rico. We have um, the aqua tabs that we're bringing over and generators that we're shipping over. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'm also very tired. We are headed down to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Um, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. To go bring some support and aid and make an assessment on the ground. We have doctors with us. Yes. Uh, thanks to Jack Morris. I won't show his face, yeah, but I'll just hear his name. He's an angel. <laughs> really just excited to, to get there and, and continue to build with this entire group because uh, the energy is here and, and hopefully we can tell the story and be advocates for these folks on the ground because there's a lot of work that needs to be done still. And then we have Ryan. Hey, what's going on, guys? The man behind the camera who's doing the whole video for social media. So. He's making it real, so you guys can see. High five, boom. Yes. We're gonna help tell the story. All right, Eagle has landed. Yes, we have landed. So in there we got the water, aqua tab, bringing it out and loading it up. It's just like all because of you guys, by the way. You guys made this possible with your donations. Some of them are going for the aqua tab. We're bringing the people what they need right now, which is water and power. So uh, the whole island needs it, and we're here to help with it. All right, so these are the physicians that donated their time. They're staying on the island, staying behind to help out. These here are the real heroes right here. Yep. Hey, that's not a physician. That's not a physician. That's Johannes. How did you get here? Maybe I am. <laughs> they taught me a lot. We had to put you on us on the physician plane because we couldn't fit him in on our plane. But we all made it. Yes. Success. Who is this guy? This is the one only Shaq. Shaq Daddy. Shaq? Yes. Hey. Live and in person. Shaq runs this island. Yeah. If you come to Puerto Rico, ask for Shaq. And look who's navigating for us today. Genesis Miss Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Thank you guys for coming. It means so much to me. No, of course. Thanks for showing us where to go. <laughs> Get us back safe. Yeah. Okay. Give me some more facts, Jack. Yeah, 36 days without power. Out of 76 municipalities, 33% of them already have electricity. Water right now is like around 75%. Yeah. The island, you have to water, you have to boil it. Mm -hmm. So right now we're heading to Arroyo City. It is the smallest municipality in the whole entire island. Mm -hmm. And it holds about 20,000 population. It's yeah. waiting on um, the electricity to come back as soon as possible because the electricity is underground. Yeah. So we're hoping that sometime soon, you know, we, we have electricity and we have water. It's like a lottery almost yeah. when it gets switched on. It's like, yeah, oh! Absolutely. I won, I won! All the river coming from the mountain go oh, down goes. to the ocean. So a lot of people still dealing with flooding and we have a problem because it's still raining. I hope the heaven is stop crying so it's gonna let us get back on our feet. We have about 20% of the total amount of aqua tabs that have been distributed by the US government. So what I mean by that is there's been about 20 million gallons of uh, clean water that has been distrib distributed through uh, FEMA and other sources. And we have about five million gallons ourselves right now. Uh, we've raised funds to buy probably another five million. So you're talking about real impact. It's not always about dollars raised. Sometimes it's about how many lives you save. The P.O.P.I. Okay, cool. Does that, mean, does that mean community center in Spanish or that just yes, uh, abbreviation? So if I go to Mexico and I say that, will, will they understand me? No. <laughs> My name is, she's the, the director. I'm okay. fine. I'm doing well. well. That's nice this is so nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you like the camera? Huh? Oh, wow, straight up, like, straight up. Tough. So, these are aqua tabs, and basically, you see this? There's 10 of these in each one. 
all you have to do is put one of these tabs into a gallon of water. It'll kill anything bacteria. You can buy these online anyway, you know? Uh, but they're important. And it's If you have running tap water that looks somewhat like this, then this will purify. And here's the key. The key is you just drop it in, but it has to sit for 30 minutes. Okay? 30 minutes. Very important. You're going to start off with the, with the school. Uh, they have a school with a couple hundred kids. When you have devastation like this, you have animals that have gotten killed. Um, you have you know, different things getting in the water stream. And without any electricity, you, know, you don't really have proper filtration. Hopefully, potentially, I'm going to be here again. Aunque sea a través de That is so much traffic. This is not a lane. Yes, it is. Now it is a lane. It is a lane. Good job, Shaq. Because Shaq made it a lane. Oh, Shaq got out of the lane. Get back into that now lane. Here we go. No, we gotta do it. That's what we do a little bit. Just in case you get a yeah, moment yeah, yeah, when yeah, the police no. weren't there. <laughs> So Genesis just took us to some of our friends and kind of showed us where, you know, they went to after the hurricanes and, you know, they made a pretty nice, pretty nice setup here. But you can see, you know, they need more shelter. He's setting up for it right here. Got some beds in here. Cooking right here. Some swag right here. And Ryan right there. So we're currently on our way to Old San Juan, and the Old San Juan, which is a very touristic area. And um, even though it's a very touristic area, there's a place called La Bella, which mm -hmm. is one of the most dangerous places in Puerto Rico to come if you're not a local. But it's awesome. fine if you're local. Are you trying to kill us? <laughs> oh, okay. You guys are safe. I mean, we're locals, and we're everyone local. that we're everyone lives. that we're coming with us is there. No, like we're here to help. Apparently, this is where they film it. So this is aftermath from the hurricane. Crazy. It's a historical area and they said this used to be a nice restaurant and now it's rubble. So. back from Puerto Rico what an amazing trip and big thanks to Jack Morris for donating his plane Jack Brewer Foundation for helping me get all the supplies for the trip big thanks to you guys for concerning without you this would have never happened and now I'm headed to the global synergy forum and going to speak on a panel with Johannes and talk amongst Gary V Robin Wright Richard Branson Steve Forbes it's gonna be an amazing panel and I'm super excited and blessed to be there all right, guys, see you at the panel. Folks, it's open city. You can sit wherever you like. Oh, boy! You hear that, Alex? Xander? Yeah. <laughs> you can have whatever you <laughs> What's the, the benefits of this water, Alexander? Well, it's infused with molecular hydrogen, which is a powerful antioxidant, which is clinically proven to improve athletic performance, reduce inflammation, and boost energy. <laughs> Weird. Tastes good. So are you nervous, Johannes? Yeah. So many people. This is first time. Are you guys in order? Oh, yep. Yeah. We're ready to go. I moved to the U.S., studied acting for a year, and then I was just, you know, confronted with the reality. So I went to auditions, and it was hard because I had a resume with, like, just student films. So all the casting directors asked me, so what have you done? I was like, I just graduated from um, acting school. And it was hard. They didn't give me a, a chance to, to prove myself. And, at, you know, at some point I got frustrated, and I was like, okay, I want to act. I want to create. That's my passion. That's what I want to do. 
and I found an outlet and it was like Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. I think what we should get into here is how you're using social media uh, and your newfound influence to empower people, to empower your fans and your audiences. Because I have such a large fan base, we can all kind of work together and motivate others and inspire others to do things for, you know, places in need as well. And for me, it was Puerto Rico. So I, I have friends from there, that's how it like ties in with me. And just seeing, you know, what they were going through and then seeing now the news and seeing what's going on. and. Seeing the lack of help over there at the moment when I first started it, I was like, all right, I need to get in there and you know, group with all my all of my fans and see what we can do. I have a lot of you know younger generations that follow my content and look up to me, and then seeing that I'm actually doing this with my time shows that it's cool and it's okay for them to do it with their time. Successful, successful, good job. How was your first panel? I was excited, panel? but I was nervous. Like, it was I could tell. So many people. I couldn't tell, but I could tell because I know you. Yeah. In the beginning, you you like were fine. Then I on the second question, I was like, oh, I see. He's a little. <laughs> yes, I was. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I even like stuttered a couple of my words because. Like, but you were good. like solid. You've done this. I don't know how many times. Like, I was listening to you. Like, <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get there on the next one. Next one, yeah. But he did great. Now it's his birthday. Almost at midnight. Yep. This whole vlog is based on Johannes's birthday. So <laughs> we took him to Puerto Rico for the first time. We took him on a panel for the first time. We took him to New York for drinks for the first time. <laughs> from New York City partying to Hawaii. And Hawaii. I think it's my longest birthday ever because in New York we celebrated at midnight obviously till I don't know, 4 a.m. But then because of time change, it's what, 4 p.m. over here? Yep. So and it's great. Like, <laughs> bounce, go wow, wow. We're getting some taste of the ocean before the sun goes down. like bathtub water. It's a little chilly, but it's... <laughs> no. No, it's just like, once you're all the way in, you're good. That water felt amazing, and now we're having an awesome dinner. And they have a vegan menu. <sighs> Blessed. Welcome to the hotel for the stay. Dun dun. Ooh, baby, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> and Johannes, come here. The Four Seasons knows it's your birthday, buddy. <laughs> How sweet is this? Look at this. All right, well, now take it to your room and go and eat it. Bye bye. I want to eat it. No. No? Let's just give this a little, a little taste. Okay. Mmm. Mwah. That's good. Now it's mine, just saying. <laughs> hey Team Cerny, hit that subscribe button to keep up with my daily life. And if you want to see more, check out my video from last week. Don't forget to subscribe to my main channel, at Amanda Cerny, if you want to see some weekly sketches. They are hilarious, trust me.